Okay, hello YouTube, it's me Vic Piano and for today I'm going to show you something special. So for today I'm going to show you uh, how to play your sax, how to play like a saxophonist using your piano. So let's say play sax on the piano, that's what I'm going to call it. So um, if you don't subscribe to my channel, please, please subscribe to my channel before watching this video because for today I'm going to show you something really special. <music> And um, okay, we'll go straight to the lesson. And we are using this groove. Um, the chord we are using is um, okay, so we are using this chord. I'm playing on the key of F and this chord. So, some persons would like then the passing chord for that is so the chord is a one, one, five, seven. Right hand, you're playing one, three, five, seven. Then, or you can come here, you can still play one, five, seven. Then, on your right hand, you're playing three, five, seven, and eight, ten. So, anyone you want, the next one, your left hand is playing two, four, six. Your right hand is playing two, four, six, eight. I'm going to go to the uh, sax. But I just want to show you those chords in case you like them. Um, then the passing chord is um, your left hand is playing four and flat six. Your right hand is playing one four flat six eight. So you're doing something like. Dun, dun, dun. Very easy, right? So I've already the pattern this. So this is the groove here is very easy. Now you playing at the saxophonics now. This is what you're going to do. They're going to do something like this. So I'm going to give you the walk down and pattern. So I do something like this. I had the first one, so I played um, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 12, 8. So that's the first one. Then the second one. So 8, 9, 9, 8, 9, 8, 9, 9, 8, 9. So let's go from the start. So 8, 9, 9, 8, 9, 8. 9, 8. So 10, 9, 8, 6. Okay, so. Very cool, right? Very cool. Now let's play to the groove and see how it sounds. Okay. So it sounds like it. Okay, so. You know, sax has this kind of feel that um, some kind of slight feel that can give it to give it that real sax sound. So you can actually do sound like this. So when you want to play 10, 9, 8, 6. So you're sliding it flat 10, flat 9, 8, 6. So, so, so you're sliding. So let's go now. I like it. Go. Now you can use any uh, sax you want. 
the sax box that I'm using is um, tenor sax. It's tenor sax, yeah. So I'm using tenor sax to play when I'm playing. So I'm gonna go and um, I think I'm gonna make parts of this. So if you've not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and um, so that I'm gonna make more awesome videos like this. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So. Okay, so let's begin. So that's the groove. Now, when can you play this groove? When can you apply this groove? You can apply it maybe you go to a bar, you go to a hotel, you go to your, even in the church, everywhere is maybe in the wedding, you have a white wedding or so, and people just want to catch crews, you want to make the place lively, the place is boring. You want to just play it with the band, so yeah, it's like you can play something like this and it's quite cool. Very interesting. So let's go again. So this basically is the main groove. This is more like the chorus, you know. This is like the main groove. So let's see how we can spice this groove. Because you can't continue playing. Dun, 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 you can't. It's quite good. But if you have a guitarist soloing, and you can back your ball. If you have a guitarist, so let's just see how we can spice it up. So let's go. Okay, so I'm looking for a good skill for you. You can do something like this. Okay, let's run it down. Okay, so uh, you can actually use a chromatic skill to play around. I'm gonna give you a rundown of what the chromatic skill is. Anyways, so something like it. So, what is a chromatic scale? A chromatic scale is when you're running your notes uh, without skipping any notes. So, if you have from C, so you're running C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp. So, you're not skipping any. Coming back the same thing, so that's what is called the chromatic key. So you can just run that's if you have developed speed, you understand. So let's see how can you spice it. So you see, now I can't actually tell you get creative. You have to now get creative on your own on how to use your chromatic skill. Do you understand? So get creative, explore, so that you don't play like a robot. You just get creative, explore. So I'm just trying to explore with my own chromatic skill. So you go re ask more about your chromatic skill and apply it on this. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be cool. So now let's see something like this. So. Now you can even do a low speed over time. You can do something like this. So something like this. It's quite cool. So I'm gonna stop here for today. And don't forget, if you've not subscribed to my channel, click on that subscribe button now. <laughs> okay, so it's nice having you guys here uh, today. And um, I'm going to see you in my next lesson.
okay so subscribe drop a comment make sure you drop a comment make sure you drop a comment okay and like this video okay i love you guys so much like i really really love you guys i'm gonna see you in my next class and it's gonna be awesome all right take care good night